where is where is Tristan? I don't know. Are we should, should we follow him? Should we go there? We're good. No, not like this, like, like kind of chill. All right, hey, I'm Polish Matt. I'm here with Mindrot. Uh, why don't we go and kind of introduce each band member like this? So tell me what your name is and what instrument do you play? Hi, my name is Scott. I play guitar. My name is Jake. I play the guitar. My name is Quincy Elijah Ross, and I play the bass. <laughs> my name's Gage, and I'm the drummer. My name is Tristan, and I play saxophone. The saxophone is absolutely insane. Can you tell me just a little bit why? Because you play metal, right? Like, what kind of genre would you say you play in general? Uh, uh, groove metal, maybe? Yeah, maybe. I don't know. It's groove. Hard to put a label on it. It's like Pantera E grooves meet prime. It's just rock and roll at the end of the day. Funky. It is kind of funky, yeah, it is a little funky. I think, I so the, one of the reasons why I'm asking is because I know there is some changes to the band structure and what you're gonna be doing, right? Yeah. And also, there was a th reaction that I saw when you were playing before uh, Green Jello. Slim Jelly was like super like into you. She's like, she said something like, it's a little th like thrashy and a little proggy. She loved the, the combination. So anyway, tell me what's going on? What was special about this show and what's going on with the band? Um, it was our last show with uh, Quincy and uh, Scotty with us, so. So what's gonna happen next? Like, cause okay, so Scotty was a new addition. So how long has the band been around in general as Mind Rot? As Mind Rot, like, like two years? Two years, yeah. Maybe like a year and a half. And how old are you in general? Like roughly. Roughly probably 18, 19, somewhere around there. Gage is the oldest. So. Yeah. I'm 21. Okay, so you're basically like kind of high school age or past high school age, yeah. roughly. And, Young and adults. Yeah. Young, Young adults. adults. Young adults. Okay, cool. And how long has Scotty been playing with Mind Rod? Because there was a previous, uh, there was a different guitarist before, right? Yeah. 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 I've been playing since like June, July. No, no. No. It was like fall, winter when you started. I think when you started Mind Rot or Guitar. Oh. So we had this group was, called Vile like, Demise. Oh yeah. yeah. Vile Demise, I remember no, that. It was like fall. It was like it was like <laughs> October. Uh, no? Because remember Preston. I mean roughly. Show. Roughly. And then then like December. So probably spring. The early fall, something like that. Yeah, like Scotty. spring. Probably it's spring. Like an hour. Uh, no, an hour. A hour. year. My bad. Jesus. No, Scotty's not been playing with us, with us for a year. There's no way. Yeah. No, it's, it's almost, been, almost okay. Almost a year. Is that good? Like that. Is that good enough? Okay. So, so I have to ask. Okay. So, like, first of all, how hard was it for you to kind of get in and get in the groove and get in the material? That's the first question, and I'm gonna ask you a follow-up. Okay. So before I joined Mind Rod, I was like primarily doing more like death metal stuff. I thought I was gonna strictly strict to stick to death metal, but then I joined Mind Rod, and then I discovered more like groove-based metal, and I uh, got more versed in that. So it's it's been really good for me. So. But like, what, was it fairly easy for you, like like transition from death metal to like the groove? It was it was fairly hard, I think. The the like the intricacies of the music are so different that adapting to it was like really hard but i'm glad that i got to because playing with these guys is great so i mean like i see the chemistry on stage is just fantastic and then quincy like uh how long have you been with mind rot um it was around like december um i remember there being a december 15th show that we had to cancel because the week before that i was brought into the band after um our old bass player left um, and then, like, I think our first show with me was about January, if I remember. Yeah, was, was, it, was it the bay? January? Yeah, yeah. That was, no, first, that was the first show? Was that the my show? No, the, no, the Swamp Show was the day after that show. Oh, okay, I remember, I remember, yeah. yeah. Okay, so, like, now you guys, two, two of you, are leaving. Why? What's going on? Um, so I'm actually going down to Kansas for college, uh, like, two and a half hours away. Um, obviously, I'm going to visit, but I think with being that far away, it's, it's hard to manage a band and to be able to play shows, obviously. So I guess, you know, it's just better to go on hiatus right now or for me to leave. And for you? So I'm in a couple bands right now. I'm in this uh, uh, mince, uh, mince group called Cop Killer. <laughs> yeah. I'm in this mince group called Cop Killer, and I'm also in this grindcore band. 
That's a badass motorcycle. Uh, I'm, I'm in this uh, grindcore group called Pigsty, and uh, me and my buddy Sam Mazur are making this uh, rancid meets Gorilla Biscuits type uh, punk project. So there's a lot of stuff in the works, and I need to you know, think about where I'm putting all my time. And I'm still going to be here for all these guys and, uh, you know, still family to me. So, that's yeah. A, uh, that sounds amazing. I mean, it's like pretty much your decision. So, okay, so then th we know what happens to the guys. Uh, what happens to the band? Who can speak to that? What's going to happen with the band? Yeah, you, yeah, you, yeah, you, you said. Come on, the oldest. Okay. The old <laughs> We're going to try and take a break until probably next spring or summer. And with these two guys leaving, we're gonna try to pump out an album over that time and get on our merch game because we haven't really ever done merch yeah. too good. So, you know, in this break with our two guys leaving, we're gonna use it as a time to be productive. Are you gonna get an album out? Are you gonna be able to get them to record remotely or you're gonna just get some different session musicians or the guitarists will take some sort of, yeah, you know, I'm curious. The crazy thing is Jake himself is probably a better bass player than I am. <laughs> so he, he can record this stuff on his yeah. own. Okay, I, I see, okay, so no shows during that period? Uh, no, probably not. Probably not. Yeah, most likely. There not. might be one. Unless it's like a crazy, I don't I mean, know, like a crazy show one, off or like Halloween, yeah, or yeah, like yeah, New Halloween, Year's or yeah. something. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe for some random, you know, event, uh, somebody does. A, a benefit. We'll do something. A benefit this September, I believe, that I we're doing. But that's for another time. That's for another yeah, time. Yeah. Uh, okay, anyway. All right, guys. So that's... Well, it's good to hear that there's plans, even though the members are leaving. There's not like, oh, Mind Road is gone forever. So there is like plan to progress, get the merge, get the album. Uh, question. Okay. Where are you on social media for... Is there any music that people can like already download, see, listen, buy? What's your... What's your... You know? So we should have stuff on Spotify, but I got an email... Uh, like the last week because we didn't pay the bill to keep it on fucking so I don't know if it's still up but if it is cool uh, yeah, we should be on Spotify and YouTube and all that shit are you on Bandcamp? we should be yeah we should be on Bandcamp okay so like if someone wants to listen to some shit they can go to Bandcamp and find your music yes. do you have lyrics there? No. Uh, yeah, that, that's another thing that we're going to do. We're going to put all the lyrics public so that people can know what the fuck we're talking about. Because that would be like the coolest thing. Like, first of all, to la understand the message, but the other one is to actually like like be able to chant and shout. Yeah, exactly. All right, well, awesome. Any, anything else do you want to say to like the fans or whoever's going to watch it? I don't know if anyone's going to watch it, but like like kind of like, hey, we're, we're not gone or go check us on this or that or I don't know, some sort of like final statement. We got to wrap this up. The Lincoln scene is truly a family, and we having love um, you guys. we fucking love you guys, yeah, man. Long story yeah. short, yeah. yeah. And uh, we don't we don't want to see it die. Uh, since the passing of the swamp, shit's been uh, pretty sketchy. Holy yeah, fuck, yeah. Man. moment of silence for the swamp. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you so much, and uh, see you around. And I wish that your plans work oh, out. Yeah. Can I say one more thing? Yeah, absolutely. Support your local venues. Your scene does not exist without your local venues. What yeah. he said. What that man said. Support our venues. Awesome. Thank you, guys. This was awesome. Hey. Hello. Yep. See you around. Hey, enjoy the rest of the show because we have a crazy, crazy lineup. We have like Siphon Far and like yeah, it's insane. All right. Well, awesome. Thank you so much. See ya. Bye.